Hello and welcome to our Connect Team tutorial. Connect Team is Lone Star Draft's platform for scheduling, communication, uh, clocking in and out, etc. So upon opening the app and, and logging in for the first time, you'll see a screen that looks similar to this. The main tools that you'll use are across the top here. So there's the time clock, which you'll use for clocking in and out. There's the job scheduler, which you can use for looking at your upcoming shifts or claiming available shifts. Uh, there's the chat if you'd like to message uh, one of us in management or someone else. And occasionally you may be assigned a task. Uh, those will be assigned in the quick tasks. And last but not least, if you need to find someone's contact information in the company, um, maybe a bartender you're working an event with, uh, you can find that over here in the directory. To begin, let's talk about some of the notifications that you might frequently receive on your phone uh, through Connect Team. So let's go to our notifications here. Um, so if you are a, assigned a shift, uh, you'll get a notification that looks like this one right here at the bottom here, this Connect Team New Shift published on seven, Saturday, 7-23. If you get a notification like that, uh, it means that you have been assigned a specific shift. Um, and you can always click on it and go in and look at it. And we'll, we'll look at that in just a moment. If a shift is available to claim, so it's not one that you've been assigned, but you can go in and uh, uh, claim it, it will say something like this top one above it here, uh, Austin Bartender, uh, house birthday party is now available to claim on 724. Um, and that means you can go in and claim that shift. All right, now let's go ahead and take a tour of the job scheduler. So we'll scroll over here, click on job scheduler. Uh, this is where you'll be able to see all of the upcoming uh, shifts that you've got or that are available to claim. Um, so you've got your fake shift. We'll talk about that in a little bit when we talk about clocking in. Then next uh, Saturday, it looks like there's one that's assigned. You can see uh, Sari's picture over here, uh, and there's one available slot, uh, for instance, uh, on the 24th here that's available to be claimed. Um, and then you can always expand the calendar, click on specific dates, and go to the 31st, uh, so on and so forth. So let's go back in, uh, look at uh, this one coming up on Saturday, the 23rd. Um, so when we click on it, uh, we'll be able to see all of the key details. So the wedding location, the address, the clock in and clock out time, um, or estimated clock in, clock out time. Um, the attachment that has the instruction sheets here for you to review all of the details. Uh, and if it's something that you haven't accepted, so you've been assigned a shift, um, you must come in, uh, click on that shift, read the details, and then click accept. And you can type a note if you have a note or a comment, uh, but otherwise go ahead and click accept. So if you don't accept, um, you need to call uh, whoever assigned it, either uh, myself or Jen or our operations manager, um, and, and reach out to them and explain why you can't uh, accept that shift. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about claiming an unclaimed shift. So this is a shift that's available uh, for anyone who's qualified to, to take it. So you come into the job scheduler, um, you can either scroll kind of day by day or week by week, or you can expand the calendar. Um, what you can see here is we've got a house birthday party uh, that has one slot available to claim. Um, and so a couple things to, to think about before you claim the shift. Um, so first off, uh, you need to be qualified for this job. Um, so we operate out of multiple locations and, and some uh, some jobs may require a special skill set. Um, in this case, it's just asking for an Austin bartender, as you can see where it says job. If you are not located in the greater Austin area, uh, then you definitely don't want to, to try and claim this shift, okay? Uh, the other thing is you'll be able to see whatever details are known about this shift uh, so far. So if, if it's closer, um, we'll, you'll often see the attachment, um, but when people book with us, they're often booking six months, nine months, a year out, uh, and so they don't know all the details of their event yet. And so often, especially when something is farther than 30 or 45 days away, the time that you see at the top, so you see here it says 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., uh, that is just a, a very basic guess. Uh, often it's going to change. Maybe you'll need to be there at 3 or you won't be able to leave until 10.30. Um, so we, we don't get that information from the client until about 45 days before the event. Uh, and so 
just just kind of keep that in mind. So if this is going to be something that's really tight for you, like if you had to be there at 3.30 suddenly, you wouldn't be able to make this. Um, don't, don't claim those kind of shifts um, because those times will move and they'll be updated once you're a little bit closer. Um, but if you do want to claim the shift, everything looks good and you're qualified, you can come in. You just hit claim shift. If you have any notes or comments or things you want to mention, you can do that here. But otherwise, you just hit claim the shift and you're done. Now we're going to talk a little bit about clocking in and out of shifts. So uh, if it's you're at the location where you're supposed to be working an event and you need to clock in, uh, what you do is you'd open the app and it should uh, so show something like this, upcoming shifts. In this case, we've created a, a faked shift here. Um, what you would do is you'd simply click on it, you'd hit open time clock, and then you would hit start. And now you're clocked in. Okay, you can go back, view the shift details, uh, whatever the case may be. A couple things to keep in mind. Um, so these, this app, uh, it requires that your GPS location be turned on uh, because it's tracking where you're clocking in and clocking out at. So you should only really be clocking in uh, and out uh, at, a, at the same venue, right? So you shouldn't be clocking in at your house or on the drive-in or anything like that. Um, and it won't let you clock in or out if you don't have that function enabled on your smartphone. But about marking dates that you are not available to work. Um, so what we're going to need you to do is any Friday, Saturday, or Sunday that you are not available to work, we'll need you to come in uh, and mark that as unavailable so that once we get closer and if no one's claimed a shift, we won't mistakenly assign a shift to you. So if you have other obligations, graduation, uh, whatever's going on that you can't attend, what you would do is you'll come to the job scheduler, you'll go to my availability, and you can just simply come in and say, okay, uh, you know, uh, Saturday, July 30th, I am not available. Just leave it as all day, hit confirm, and then we'll know that you are unavailable that day and we won't assign shifts to you. Again, because we start assigning shifts 30 days before an event, you need to kind of be looking at your calendar and, and marking out at least 30 days in advance when you're not going to be available. If you're the most senior bartender working at an event, uh, you'll have a task that you have to complete prior to clocking out uh, and, and ending the shift. And so those tasks need to be found under quick tasks or it will be here just above the shift. Uh, so we'd click on it, open, um, and what it's going to ask you to do is prior to clocking out, you need to complete a post-event questionnaire, which contains a few details um, such as, you know, was there any problems, um, how much were the tips, etc., and including a picture of the clean bar area. And so you just click on the link, it'll open it up in your web browser, and then you'll just answer the questions uh, as you go through. And once you're done with that, you're free to, to clock out and head on. The last thing we'll cover is the chat functionality within Connect Team. So all non-emergency communication, uh, and so anything what we consider an emergency would be any time that you know you're at an event or you're um, on your way to an event and something happens, flat tire. Those things are emergencies, and you should call um, the operations manager or one of the management team immediately. Um, but things like you have a question, um, you're not sure about something, you want to. Uh, provide a suggestion, anything like that, um, you just come into the chat. You can either find who, who you want to talk to if you talked to them before or just hit the plus and everyone will be uh, here and you can simply just use it like any other chat. So, hey Robert. So on and so forth and you can type your message and it works just like a, a chat. You can send voice, uh, files, etc. If you need to send a picture of something, um, those sorts of things, you're, you're welcome to do that uh, here through connecting.